The Center on Wrongful Convictions grew out of a historic conference that took place here at Northwestern in November of 1998. The largest ever gathering of wrongfully convicted men and women who had been on death rows throughout the United States. The focal point of the conference was to reintroduce the idea of innocence into the debate on the death penalty. The work of Larry Marshall, who was a Northwestern professor, and Rob Warden, who was a muckraking journalist whose area of expertise was in exposing wrongful convictions. The conference was a rousing success, and it was climaxed by a moment where each of these individuals walked up to a microphone and said, had the state of Florida gotten away with it, I would be dead today. Had the state of Alabama gotten its way, I would be dead today. And hearing that over and over again um, caught the public's attention and began to shift public debate on the death penalty. And here in Illinois, we are abolishing the death penalty, something that I think Larry and Rob could have only dreamed about 10 or 11 years ago. I actually knew about the CWC before I ever came to law school. I remember the Anthony Porter case years and years ago. I remember watching it on TV from the Chicagoland area. And I thought, wow, that clinic's doing really great work. And if I do a clinic in law school, I would like it to be that one. The Center on Wrongful Convictions receives about 200 letters a month from inmates around the country um, who claim that they are actually innocent of the crimes of which they've been convicted. There's a lot of investigation that goes into the decision about whether or not to take a case. And students are involved in that investigation from the beginning. I have a case now that's going to trial in a couple months. I've actually gotten to do a lot of work on that. I've gotten to draft motions. I've gone to the jail to visit with the client. I've interviewed the client. I've looked for other witnesses. I've interviewed other witnesses. I've gone out and done other smaller investigative matters. And so I've really had a hands-on role in this entire case. It's to the clinic it centers and the clinic's great credit that they give these students a tremendous responsibility in the cases that the clinic works on, supervise them very closely, but still give them a tremendous amount of responsibility. And, and I've never met a Northwestern student who wasn't up to the tasks. Most of our clients are indigent. The work is critically important for that reason, but it's also important because of the ways in which the exonerations can be used to generate reforms. The innocence movement is responsible probably for the greatest revolution, if you will, in criminal justice reform since the days of the Warren Court in the 1960s. I think it's been probably my best experience of law school. I might get the opportunity to kind of work on real cases that help people in real life. Um, it really makes a difference. I think the center does great work. I think the professors are wonderful. They also do great work. And it's just nice to be helping out on such important cases where people have been convicted of crimes that they didn't do. The work that we do is transformative. It's clearly transformative for the clients who are taken out of abject misery and returned to the streets as free men. But what's most transformative is seeing how it affects our students, seeing the passion they bring to their work, seeing the ways in which their worldviews have changed from the time when we first get them, seeing them come up with remarkably creative legal ideas or legal strategies that some of us who've been involved in the game for a long time didn't think of ourselves.